we try to be as close to perfect as we can, I can tell you there's no such thing as a perfect house. It just, it just isn't out there. Um, in, in some of that is, there might be, like I say, a nick in the wall or something that has to be fixed. And some of it is just that, okay, they designed this house, but then now that they live in it, it's not exactly what they wanted. They would have done it um, different. I've been in that situation in every house I've been in, I've built for myself. So there's always stuff you do different once you see how it lives. So there really is no perfect house, but you know, after two years, you don't pay capital gains anymore and we can do it again until you get it perfect. We'll build them every two years for as long as you like. But there's, I mean, perfection is really hard to attain when you have um, uh, a product with over 250,000 different components in it, probably over 150 different people working on it. It, it gets it gets tough. We do what we can, you know, we have a warranty process and we, we will come back, you know, and fix, you know, dings. There's things that we could walk through the house every day and we don't see, and you could probably walk through the house for two months and then all of a sudden it, it pops out to you. You know, so there's just things you don't notice until you're there all the time and then you notice it and you know, we want to make people happy. We want them to be happy with the product that we provide. So we're going to come back and fix it. But to think that everything is going to be perfect for you, especially when you move in, there's, there's just things you don't know until somebody lives there. Right. And you need to find those things out. We hope it's right, but when it's not, we want to make it right. And we have people that work on our jobs that truly care about their, their craft and their profession. There's no doubt about it, but no one's perfect. And, and things happen, you know, things happen on a job and you have to be able to roll with it and just, you have to trust that the person you've hired to build your house is gonna make it right in the end.